Okay, so here's like a quick demo of what the computer does. I've got it from the friend that I'm designing this thing for and uh, working out a couple of bugs today, but since it's up here, I thought I might show you what it's doing. Um, looks like we're watching Price is Right right now, so. <laughs> it was, he said it was uh, having a buffering problem, so I'm making sure it's not in the machine, but it's his internet connection. Anyway, this is the actual computer. It's an HP Thin Client. It's, um, it's got a couple of, hmm, little, that's a little blurry. It's got a couple of USB ports, and then there's you've got your. Uh, that's a microphone jack, but there's your sound connection back here. Let's see if you can see that. You got your VGA port. You got a keyboard and mouse port there. That's a serial port. You don't really need that. Um, there's your wired Ethernet, and it's got four more USB ports. And then this one right here is a Display Port, which means that you can get uh, two. You can actually get HDMI or DVI out of that with the right adapter, so you can run it to just about anything. But if you're hooking it up to a TV or a projector that's got a VGA port, that's probably your best bet. Anyway, um, the thing is completely silent. All of this background noise that you hear right now is probably those servers. I am at work, and so you're probably hearing that. But this thing is completely silent. There's no fans on it whatsoever, so it's quiet and cool and... It runs really nicely. All right, so let's look at our interface. I've actually got his working with a Nintendo Wiimote right here, so I'm going to use that. But you could also use the keyboard functions right here. So if I hit pause on the keyboard, it'll pause my video there. And if I hit it again, it'll stop it. All right, so I'm going to bring up my Wiimote here and get my interface. And you can kind of see what this thing will do. Let's go ahead and stop that. And basically, I'm running a couple of different plugins. There's your, there's your Hulu plugin right there. And that will. Um, the cool deal about your Hulu plugin is once you sign in with your Hulu account, whether the free one or if you have a Hulu Plus account, it'll work with both of them. Um, you just go down to your queue. And let's see what he's got queued up here. I think he was into. Uh, look at that. He added Merlin, and then he never watched it. He told me that. Anyway, so, um, and it pulls all that stuff straight off of your, uh, your Hulu queue, so, like, I log in on my computer and queue up a bunch of shows, and then I jump into this thing and hit, come down and hit play, and it plays them right off on my Hulu queue. Hulu works really nicely. This one right here is called Free Cable, um, and all it's doing is pulling shows straight off of the websites for the various, um, for the various TV stations, so let's go to, uh, there was A&E. What I found is most of them work, every once in a while, if the site changes up anything, there's directory structure or anything like that, it may break that site for a little bit until they get an update out for it, but most of them work pretty well. I've been watching A&E and CBS mainly. CBS in particular is the one that you can't get a lot of CBS. You can't get hardly anything on Hulu that comes on CBS. They prefer to go through their website, which is fine. And so, like I came down here and I was watching Duck Dynasty. It pulls all of the artwork and everything from their website. I mean, to, or from um, usually from the internet somewhere. It'll do like a like a scraper and get artwork from. Um, there's a couple of different websites that have that type of information. So, um, you can go down to full episodes there, and so this is pulling it all straight from their website. This, and it, so you're limited as to what episodes they've got up on the website. There's your, you can see the description of the episode and everything right there. And then if I come in here, that's the one that I watched earlier to do some testing. I'll do the other one here, and we'll hit play on that one and watch it load up. Um, depending on what site you're watching it off of, it might be in high definition, um, but it looks pretty good. That one, I think these A&E Duck Dynasty ones are all in high def, so they look really good. I mean, I'm on a, a computer monitor right now, so you would probably see if it was real choppy or blocky. Uh, we can hop back out here and go to CBS. Oops. I'm a little clunky with my Wiimote down here. And it's the same deal with that one. Obviously my favorite show is in the prime time, and that is The Big Bang Theory. 
I think currently they've got five episodes up, the first five in season seven, maybe. So you go in here. Um, it's scraping all of this from their website. So whenever it hits their website, it'll hit here. And they've got cool artwork from the website or somewhere. I'm going to spin a little bit while they get all the episode information. There you go. I watched this one a little earlier and it looks really good. We can queue up this one real quick. Looks like we're buffering a little bit. Usually for me, it might buffer just to start the episode out. and But unless we're having a bandwidth issue, which I have had at my house if I'm trying to stream too many, th too many things at once. Unless we're doing a, having some sort of a bandwidth issue, then it usually works just fine. Here up at the school, this is about the busiest time of the day for the internet, so I'm kind of surprised we're not having a bandwidth issue. But apparently we're not. It's working just fine. You get your little on-screen menu. Um, the cool deal about the Wii mode is like all of the volume controls. Let me see if I can hit that volume control. You can see that. The volume controls all work right there on the Wii Wiimote. Um, and so I, I hit that, hit the A button there to bring up my menu and then the trigger on the back is the exit menu that will go back to the video. So it is some pretty cool stuff. Anyway, um, Go ahead and stop that. This is my TV setup, and this is uh, by far the coolest thing that I've got rolling in my house. Um, it uses an Intel Atom processor, and I'm using a Broadcom Crystal HD video card. So the Crystal HD will play high definition video without any problems. You kind of saw it right there because all that was playing in at least 720p. And um, the Intel Atom processor uses so little power, you can leave this thing on. As much as you want, it's really not going to give you a hit on your electric bill. So, pretty nice stuff. I'll put my hand on there so you can see kind of the scale of this thing. It's probably about the size of your average, uh, probably smaller than a laptop, but it's going to be the, I don't know, I don't know how big that is. It looks like it's a, about a sheet of paper. Anyway, there it is.